What's that? It's night out with Moxa tonight. Mm hmm That is totally why I'm wearing a uh, sequin ball gown. Drinking wine with my dog who's in a coordinating outfit on a Friday night. Yep. Okay. Cheers. Let's do it. Lauren Goldberg here. I just wanted to say I'm so honored to be a part of this organization and this committee again this year. It's so incredibly important and um, now more than ever, especially with all the craziness happening in the world, it's so important to make sure that we're still getting the attention and the, and the dedication to these groups that need this funding the most. Um, and I especially want to give a shout out to Stephanie and Libby and the entire staff at Moxa for their determination and to step up to the challenge to create an event like this and make it virtual and fun and exciting I think is a huge testament to them and um, it's going to be an awesome event so really excited to be a part of this and looking forward to seeing you all there. And we're Moxa committee members welcoming you to this evening's event from Alex's Sofa. It is so unfortunate that we can't all be together this year, but we are so thankful that you're here helping us raise money for Moxa's Play and Art Therapy program, which helps our most vulnerable survivors of sexual abuse. So sit back, relax, grab your phone because we have some really great auction items again this year. And don't forget your favorite beverage. So cheers to a great night. The event will be starting soon. Debbie and I'm Moxa's marketing coordinator and this is my mom Wanda. Hi, welcome to our home. We are here to celebrate a night out with Moxa and we're a little disappointed that it's not in person this year but we are going to have a wonderful time. My parents are wildlife photographers as you can see here and you'll find some of their work in the silent auction as well as lots of other artwork and jewelry and things that local artists and crafters have donated to us this year. Also, Jenny Meyer McCall, whose artwork has been featured on HGTV's uh, Bargain Mansions, is gonna be doing a live-ish painting for us that will be featured in the live auction. Isn't that cool, Mom? Mom? Oh, hi. I'm sorry. There's a lot of really good stuff to bid on in here. <laughs> okay, Mom. So, the live program is going to be starting soon. Grab your drinks and get online and start bidding. Cheers! Cheers. Hi all, it's Kristen. I'm a therapist at Moxa. Welcome to my home. <laughs> I wanted to let you know that the program is going to start soon, but I wanted to hop on and tell you all thank you so much for being here. In all fairness, I do always love my job and I always think I have the coolest job all the time, but there really is something super special about this time. So right now we're providing all telehealth. And so what that means is that I'm getting to work with clients at their home. So I'm getting to see adults artwork that has helped them heal. I'm getting to see favorite stuffed animals, meet siblings, see a stuffed animal that helps a child sleep well at night. It has been really sacred getting to witness clients healing right now in their own space. And a reason that I'm getting to do that and that all of us therapists are getting to do that is because of people like you. So from your home, 
to my home, to the homes of the community where we are getting to watch people get better. You're really making a difference. Thank you so much. and we're ready to party at night in with Moxa. I've got my party pants. I've got my party shirt. And, and we've, we've got, got our, our party, party animals. animals. At MOXA, we train community members like you who want to volunteer to support sexual assault survivors. Whether it's in hospital rooms, answering our hotline, or providing safety education in schools, MOXA ensures that the Kansas City community has trained volunteers who are ready to respond across the metro to support survivors 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thank you for joining us in our mission to support survivors. the live auction, and they put up for bid the trip to Belize. Okay. Yes. I'm totally getting this one. Wait. You're, I'm bidding on Belize. But I am because it's, it's a tropical vacation. We're never going to get through this night. We're going to be bidding on <laughs> the same stuff all night. So, okay, forget that. They can't see us anyway. Right. They just need to pick up their phones and bid online at Gift Smart. Woo! Okay, so let's get ready. We gotta get our good seats. Woo, we got our wine. Here we go. Happy night in, everybody. Cheers. Cheers from the Williams.
so I'm trying to get to night in with Moxa. I'm a little worried I'm going to be late, but but um, actually I don't think I can be late. But see, the problem is I always self park. Um, so let's see if I can make it. I'm really glad that you're going to be at Moxa uh, night in with me. So let's go. It's such a big night and we're so glad we're getting to do this. Although it's a shame, I think, that we're not getting to do it in person because it would be so much better if we were. And we'd raise more money, but maybe that won't be a problem because maybe everybody's going to raise tons of money because we know how important what we're doing is. And the staff is working so hard. Let's see. I, I hope everything's ready. <laughs> the greeting committee. Let's see. Okay. I've got my champagne. I've got my glasses. I'm ready to go. I've got my remotes. I'm all set. Here we go. Thank you for coming to Night In with Moxa. We're so glad to see you. Please uh, donate and support us. Okay, bye. See ya. Welcome to Night Out with Moxa, or Night In this year. I'm Libby Henry. And I'm Stephanie Bradley Cooch. And we're the co-chairs for this great event to support Moxa. And I'm Julie Donnellan, President and CEO of Moxa, the Metropolitan Organization to Counter Sexual Assault. We're so glad that you're joining us tonight from your couches and your comfy clothes or with your friends and family at a great socially distanced house party. We'd love to be with you in person like we are each year, but we know keeping our community safe and healthy is important to all of us. So you're probably wondering why we're dressed like this. And we promise these aren't our new work from home wardrobes, at least maybe not for these ladies. <laughs> we're dressed like this because we're all here tonight to support the most vulnerable clients that Moxa serves, children that have experienced the trauma of sexual abuse. These look like a Viking costume or a fairy princess or Wonder Woman, but this is actually one of the ways kids heal at Moxa. With our trained expert therapist, play in art therapy helps kids process and deal with the trauma of sexual abuse. This superhero cape has been worn by a lot of small heroes in Moxa's play therapy room. And you can be their hero tonight with your financial support. Because your gift, especially now, can help kids get healthier and find hope at Moxa. Helping kids heal from trauma means they can feel like themselves again. When they sprinkle glitter and draw with their feelings, when they dress up like superheroes and slay their monsters, when they play, they start to heal. And your donations and purchases tonight mean that Moxa can continue to provide all of our services completely free of charge. So let's get on with the party. We promise to keep it fast and fun tonight, and though we might be a little overdressed this year, we're so excited to share this night in with Moxa with you tonight. So let us introduce you to Trisha Brower, our amazing MC and auctioneer for the evening. Take it away, Trisha. Thank you, ladies. Good evening, friends. I'm delighted to be here on behalf of Moxa, and am so excited to serve as your MC and auctioneer tonight. My name is Trisha Brower. So, How's everyone doing so far? Use that chat below to tell us where you're watching from, who you're watching with, and how much of a fun time you're having so far. We have an amazing virtual program ahead, so make sure that you check your texts, check your email for the links to bid, register, and also make sure to stretch out and limber up your fingers so that you're ready to do all your bidding on your favorite device. And if you haven't done so, do not forget to buy a Pick Your Paradise raffle ticket 
or two so that you have the chance to win up to one of a six amazing trips and have up to three years to take that trip. Now, let me repeat that. With one raffle ticket, the winner will get to choose between six different vacations and have up to three years to travel. We will be pulling the winning ticket holder at the end of the program, so stay tuned. Now tonight, while you're cozy on your couch or attending one of the many parties across town, we would love for you to take a selfie, share a party pic, or post on your social media, and don't forget to tag us at hashtag Moxa Night In, or also tag us at Moxa KC. Before we get on with the program, we want to take a quick moment to thank our underlevel sponsors for supporting Night Out this year. So first off, Clinical Reference Laboratories. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stephanie Bradley Cooch and Chris Cooch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Monty's and Mayor PC, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Marnie and John Sherman, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you so much. Let's kick off the evening by pulling for the raffle ticket for the pair of AirPod Pros. Now, the winner is, little drum roll, use the chat below to give your drum roll, Gabrielle Arela. Thank you so much for your purchase of your raffle ticket and someone from the MOXA staff will be in touch with you next week to get you your prize. You're gonna really enjoy those, trust me. And because virtual giving feels just as good as in-person giving, but it does look a little bit different, if at any time you are having trouble getting registered or placing your bids tonight, please call MOXA's help number listed on your screen. The only rule for tonight is to bid high, bid often, and give generously. In this current environment, MOXA needs your support now more than ever. There is an enormous need for MOXA services in our six county metro area. Sadly, thousands of children and families have suffered trauma of sexual abuse. Your support tonight means that children and families have someone to listen to them, tell them it is never their fault to believe their stories and to help them heal. That is Moxa. So let me introduce you to our volunteer survivor speaker so she can share her story with you and the impact that Moxa has made on her life. Please welcome Lindsay Jarrett. When I was a young girl, I was always interested in what my brothers were doing. I loved playing sports, being outside, and I didn't mind getting dirty, which were all good qualities to have when you have older brothers and your parents work a lot. I still remember what it felt like to pedal my bike down our steep hill with the wind in my hair and my shoes heavily caked with mud. The summer before I turned nine was different. The other little girls I knew were starting to really talk about boys, and I was also curious. I noticed some of my brother's friends paying attention to me in a way they hadn't before. A set of brothers would ask me to play with them, jump on the trampoline, kick around a soccer ball, ride bikes to the creek, all typical things kids do together. But one summer day, one of them kissed me and then grabbed me tight. I could feel his breath on my back and his hands tightly squeezed on my waist. I thought he might like me. Then in the weeks after, his brother would do the same, as if taking turns, but not something I realized until later. Part of me felt like the cool girl on the block, the one who got this special attention from these older boys then the gentle parts of our experiences were ripped away in what felt like seconds, and there was no more kindness and a lot more aggression. Days of jumping on the trampoline and kisses turned into being pinned down, forced into sexual acts, and locked up in a dark shed for hours on hot summer days. 
moments that have created triggers in me, even today. Luckily with time, those boys aged, got girlfriends, and I got to escape and spend my summers hours away with my grandparents, escaping the cruelty in my neighborhood. The following years were hard. Some kids learned about what had happened. I was blamed, made fun of. Hurtful words shouted my way, depending on who was yelling them. Boys tended to think it was cool that I was experienced, while girls loved to let me know that I was in the slut category. As I wrapped myself up in those perceptions, they became part of my identity in high school, often landing popular boys to date and friends who th thought that they might learn something from me. I learned how to use sex as a weapon, and I put myself in very dangerous situations in high school and college with some I can now categorize as rape. I tried to have relationships with people, but men were not to be trusted, which left every seemingly serious relationship to fail. Even when I met my husband, I was not ready to know and receive love. In 2010, nearly 20 years after my first assault, I decided to tell him my story, and I knew it would change me and our lives together forever. In 2013, I became pregnant with our daughter. I never thought I could be a mom to raise another human being while I was wrapped up in fear. But I think becoming a mom helped me to see how the trauma was impacting me. And in the last few years of intensive therapy, I could finally see how my trauma was engulfing every part of me. I have learned that each day requires one breath, one step, and one act of courage to move forward. Today, I'm a successful professional with a high stakes job, and I proudly have a PhD at the end of my name. And each day is hard. I go to therapy once a month, but I would go every day if I could. My therapist helps me notice when my trauma is impacting my life, and how I can face it with strength instead of avoiding it. In 2017, I became a volunteer hospital advocate for MOXA, where I get to be with survivors while they go through their forensic exam. I never had anyone by my side after an assault, and so now I show up. I'm there during a time that is often full of fear and loneliness for survivors. I have a lot of wishes for myself all those years ago. I wish I could have had the strength to say no, to run, to ask for help. I wish I'd had access to services like Moxa's. Every day, I fight my fears. The little eight-year-old girl's voice that was scared to speak up is now growing up and becoming the woman my trauma never let her be. Now, our daughter is six and is exploring her body, her emotions, and her confidence. I have a hard time seeing our daughter interact with boys or wondering if I'm creating a safe space for her to talk to me about experiences because we still live in a world where it's hard for kids to talk about their feelings and their bodies. Every day I tell myself that I need to be whole to provide that security to her. I tell our daughter that she is enough She's beautiful, she's strong, and she is in control of her body. Every day I search for love, and I let go of control because in those times with my husband, I feel joy. Every day I work at it because my trauma is a lifelong injury, but I will not let it get in the way of what I want, and I know that I am not alone. There are so many survivors like me that lean on MOXA in so many ways. Your support tonight and pledging your resources to MOXA makes a difference in the lives of women, men, and children like I was. Children who want safety and to feel whole again. We need you to stand beside us. We can't do it without you. Please consider making a meaningful gift tonight right now, because kids like the little eight-year-old girl I was 
need moxa now more than ever. Thank you, Lindsay, for sharing your story. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached one of the most important parts of tonight's program, the opportunity for us to come together as a community and support MOXA. Now, the way this part of the program works is that this year, instead of grabbing your bid card, you're gonna grab your favorite device. You're going to click on the link that was sent to you either in your email or via text message and once you've reached the landing page, you're gonna click donate. There, you're going to see various levels of giving. And what I ask is at this time, for you to click on the level of giving that is meaningful to you and your family. And as we work through this, I'm going to talk about what your money could do at our different giving levels, and also recognize various donors as they come in. You're also going to see on our screen a thermometer and folks' names as they give as well. And so our first level of giving tonight is at our $5,000 level. $5,000 could provide 50 therapy sessions for children and families. That means 50 kids and families will have someone to listen to them, to tell them it is never their fault, to believe their stories, and to help them heal. And if you're able to donate at $5,000, click that button now. And the very first donor coming in that I would like to thank is Kate and John Mitchell. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Thank you, Kate and John. Use the chat below right now to cheer on your fellow donors and to make sure that we are acknowledging all the gifts as they are coming in. So thank you to our lead donors tonight. Our next level of giving is at the $2,500 level. And $2,500 could cover one year of art supplies, costumes, puppets, and snacks for hungry kiddos. When kids dress up like superheroes, Vikings, or fairy tale princess and work with one of Moxa's expert therapists, they start to process their emotions and heal from the trauma they have experienced because of sexual abuse or sexual assault. And if you're able to give at $2,500, go ahead and click that button right now. We're going to see donations coming in. I'm refreshing my screen as well to see those dollars coming in. And we're going to start acknowledging some more donors as they come in. So thank you to everyone who's giving. I see that thermometer going up right now. And we're going to, again, like I said, start calling off some of those people at those levels. Now, our next level is at $1,000. $1,000 could supply five kids to learn about sexual abuse prevention in school. The MOXA staff and volunteers provided education and prevention services to more than 30 districts and helped over 65,000 individuals. 65,000 individuals. Is that not absolutely amazing? So at this time, grab your device click on the thousand dollar level and let's see those donations coming in here tonight and we're seeing lots of lows i'm gonna start calling off some donors here in just a few moments but remember all these services that moxa provides go to help children and adults who are survivors of sexual abuse and sexual assault and that is what we are raising money for here this evening. We're seeing that thermometer go up. I wanna see some more cheering in that chat box below. Now make sure as you see somebody's name that you give them a little bit of a shout out and as we go along. Now next up is $500. And your $500 gift could cover the cost of training two new MOXA volunteers. Now these volunteers, what do they do? They help the 24 seven crisis line. And any person who has ever had the courage to call for support needs to make sure that there's somebody on the other end of that line. They also help provide education in schools. And like Lindsay, our survivor speaker tonight, help at the hospital to hold survivors' hands during their forensic exam. What an awesome thing to help with. 
So if you're able to donate that $500 level, let's see those donations come in. I would like to give a huge thank you to Lauren Goldberg. Thank you so much, Lauren, who's come in right now. And again, I'm seeing other donations come in across our screen. Want to thank the various donors that we're seeing come in. Jennifer Lau, thank you at $5,000 there. Look at that thermometer going up. $25 from Aaron Roberts as well. Thank you so incredibly much. 250 from David Stallings coming in as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And speaking of $250, this could provide therapy training for one of Moxa's therapists. In 2019, Moxa saw more than 1,500 clients. That means your donation could help with 29 new clients a week. 29 new clients a week. And so if you're able to give at that $250 level, click that donate, bottom, donate button now, and let's start seeing those donations come in. Now I have a few other names that I also wanna make sure that I call out here as we're going through this. And so we had Jennifer Lau, like I said, come in at 5,000. Lauren Allen came in at 1,000. Thank you, Lauren. Carrie Thurston came in at $1,000 as well. Thank you, Carrie. Let's show some love. Let's show some cheering. Woohoo! Thank you. This is how we create change. This is what we do. And so also coming in at 250, we have Jane Kress. Thank you, Stacy McLay. Thank you, Joe Bradley. Thank you as well. Now, our last level of giving is at the $100 level. And $100 could provide four months of virtual therapy software for one MOXA therapist. During this time of a pandemic of COVID-19, you can help ensure that kids and adult survivors have the access to the free therapy services that they need. And so if you're able to donate at our last level, $100, what is that? Like one trip to a coffee store nowadays? Go ahead, click now, and let's raise those dollars for Moxa here tonight. Now again, I know that I have some more donations coming in and we wanna start acknowledging some more. Make sure, yes, give it up. Let's do some cheering right now. We wanna hear it. Woo is right. And again, thank you to everyone with your patience as we go through this. And thank you to Kit Bolin. Thank you, Stephanie. Cooch, thank you so much. Stephanie Bradley Cooch, thank you. Brooke Ryan, Taylor Dunn, Camille Hendren, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ross Lannis, Meg Parker, Kristen Wing, Kristen Abel, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we also have other donors coming in as well. We truly cannot thank you enough. It is because of you that we are able to continue to make the change and make the impact here at Moxa. Now, if there's another level of giving that I did not say here tonight, whether that be from $1 to a million dollars, there's the opportunity for you to click uh, on a donation and it will allow you to custom enter in any amount that is meaningful to you. So I encourage you at this time, we're going to continue to raise dollars during the fund and need portion of our program throughout the night and encourage you at any time to grab your device and make that donation. And from the bottom of our hearts, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Girls, I am dreaming of a beach vacation or maybe just a trip to New York or a trip anywhere outside of my house and away from my kids. Ugh, me too. I don't know about you, but I need something to look forward to. Well, how about the chance to win a free trip? If you, if you can't wait to get out of town, buy a $100 raffle ticket for Pick Your Paradise. You could win your choice of one of six fabulous trips, all the while supporting Moxa. And if you win, you'll have plenty of time to book it and to take your trip in the next two years. So buy your tickets now. Can you top off my pineapple, please? Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, ladies, for the fun video. Now, ladies and gentlemen at home, you have just a few moments left to buy your raffle tickets. So if you have not done so yet, now is the time to do so. Or if you already have, go ahead and buy another one. Now, we're gonna move into what is one of my most favorite parts of the night. 
That is our live auction. Now, if we were all in the room together, you would get to hear me talk fast. And when I tell people that I'm an auctioneer, that's typically the first question that they ask me. And so can I talk fast? Absolutely. So if we were in the room, it would sound like this. And would have been 101, nobody 100, 200, 300, 400, 300, 400, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, Now, in our virtual world, that goes a little bit too quickly. So instead, we're gonna be using our devices to still raise the same amount of amazing money for Moxa. So, we have some premium items that we're gonna share with you this evening. Our first one, always a super popular one with the Moxa crowd. This is a trip to Asheville, North Carolina. In 2017, it was named number one on Lonely Planet's best in the US vacation list. For this trip, you will get to enjoy a seven, seven night stay in a two bedroom vacation villa that sleeps up to six at the Crown Plaza Resort in Asheville, North Carolina. This package includes two rounds of golf for four, unlimited tennis and fitness use at the Asheville Racquet Club, and two spa services at the Adeline Salon and Spa. Thank you to Dennis Holsing, Holsing Enterprises LLC for this amazing donation. Now, with all of our premium item, premier items, bidding will be open until 8.30 tonight. Now our next item is a gorgeous Tivil diamond necklace. You will love the diamond pendant of this delicate and attention grabbing piece. With nine beautiful diamonds and classic 14 karat white gold, this one inch pendant necklace by award winning designer Zoe Chico whose designs are worn by celebrities like Charlize Theron and Emily Blunt. It is set off by a delicate chain and sure to complement any outfit. This is donated by Tibble. Now, ladies, buy it for you. Gentlemen, buy it for her. But regardless, bid and bid generously. Our next premier item, this is for the wine lovers out there. So if you're drinking a glass of wine at home right now, cheers it up, cheers in the chat room below because this item is for you. This is the Hesse Wine Collection. Dan Hesse and Diane Canaday present three wines from the extraordinary 2007 vintage. They are hand selected for you from their personal collection. Let me say that again, from their personal collection collection. Included is a Todd Anderson's ultra collectible ghost horse Phantom Cabernet Sauvignon. There's also a former Screaming Eagle winemaker Andy Erickson's Fabia Cabernet Sauvignon. And finally, last but not least, the third bottle to round out this amazing collection is Bill Foley's M Marius Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, my French has never been that great, so I do apologize for what may have been the at atrocious pronunciation of some of those words. But regardless, remember, we are here to bid for Moxa, so bid generously. Next up, this is a must-have opportunity. This is a condo in Belize. Now, I was very fortunate to have just traveled there last December, and believe me, if you have not been there, you need to put this on your list of places to go. And if you have been, this is your opportunity to go back. This is the opportunity to escape to the tropical paradise with your own luxurious private three bedroom condo just steps away from the Caribbean Sea for a seven night stay. Your stunning accommodations feature a private master balcony, a swimming pool with a broad sun deck, a full kitchen, a workout room, and a wraparound porch with a view of the ocean. You will find Adventure in Belize where the possibilities await. Donated by Christy and Bill Go Through. Thank you to our donors. Now, I know that this has been one of the popular items because bidding on this item has been going absolutely bonkers all afternoon. Now, when I have you on the room and you're bidding on this, all those bid cards are flying crazy. Let's do the same thing with our devices right now. Go grab on that because believe me, after this year, Belize is a place you are going to want to go. So bid now, bid generously. Remember, 
every dollar that we raise here tonight goes to help Moxa. Now our next premier item. This is a live painting from Jenny Meyer McCall. Now Jenny has been seen on HGTV shows Bargain Mansions. Jenny Meyer McCall has created a custom piece that you can bring home to liven up your mansion. This is a one-of-a-kind, hand-painted, mixed-media piece specially created for Moxa bidders. Specially created for you, folks. This is your opportunity to bid. Now, this is 18 by 36 on canvas with thick plaster that is layered with acrylic paint, charcoal, metallic paint, and oil pastel. Watching that video of Jenny create this piece is absolutely fascinating. And thank you to Jenny Meyer McCall for this fabulous piece. Now again, bidding on this item is open until 8.30 tonight. It is another popular piece, so please make sure that you keep your device handy to keep those bids coming in. Now, I've highlighted a few, but there are a few others I want to touch on just a little bit before we go. So next up is a stunning modern gemstone arrow ring in 14 karat rose gold with an ameth amethyst stone, London blue topaz, and garnets. This has been donated by Pendleton Jewelry. Look at that ring, absolutely stunning piece there. The next item that we're gonna highlight, oh, this, is something y'all got a bit on. This right here. This is a gorgeous Gucci handbag in metallic silver leather with a dramatic clasp. Absolutely statement piece, something everyone needs to have in their collection. And the next piece is a large 48 by 48 inch abstract original painting on canvas titled Ocean One by artist Cynthia Bajorn. Great piece, stunning piece, home, office, would look beautiful anywhere. And then finally, the last item that I'm gonna mention tonight is the exchange at Lead Bank event venue space in the Crossroads. This is a great space for your next corporate event, intimate wedding, or family retreat. This has been donated by Josh Rowland and Lead Bank. So thank you to all of our donors. Now again, just as a reminder, the premier auction items will be open until 8.30 tonight. That's getting close. It's getting really close. It's 31 minutes from right now. And then the silent auction will close at 9 p.m. So get those generous bids in now. It's Friday night. Have another glass of wine. Pour another cocktail and bid generously. We are here to raise money. Folks, as much as we miss you in person this year, we cannot thank you nearly enough for your fantastic bidding and undeniable generosity. Give yourselves a huge round of applause. Woo! And know that you have done your part to support Moxa and the great work that they are doing. Let's give a big round of applause. And I want every single one of you at home, I want you to stand up and I want you to clap because Lindsay Jarrett, our survivor speaker tonight, she deserves a standing ovation. <laughs> Lindsay, thank you. We love you and are so thankful that you shared your story. And also, let's thank Harvest Productions. They were next level with tonight's production. So thank you to Harvest Productions as well. They were absolutely amazing. Make sure you're showing some love in the chat for everyone below. Now, you've got a few minutes left to bid, but before I go, I have the pleasure of announcing the winner of the Pick Your Paradise raffle. The moment that you've all been waiting for. And the winner is, and I'm getting this fed to me, Lisa Lampkin, yay, Lisa. Lisa, if you're watching and you know where you're going to be going, put it in the chat below. We wanna know where you're gonna be getting out of here for, right? She gets to pick between six different vacations. How cool is that? So, as we come to an end, congratulations, uh, and Moxa staff will reach out to you early next week with those details, Lisa, so thank you so much. And as we go, I hope that you had a fantastic time supporting Moxa with me this evening. Again, my name is Trisha Brower, and thank you for having me. I look forward to seeing you, hopefully, in person next year. So for now, 
I leave you in the able hands of our heroes, our night out event chairs and Moxa's CEO. Once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your generosity and have a great evening. Thank you all so much for your amazing support tonight. We are so grateful that you all came to the party, even if it was from your couches and in your yoga pants. And I know I speak for Moxa's board and staff when I say how moved we are to see that Moxa has so many friends, supporters, and donors, and that the survivors, children, and families we serve know that you're here for them as they heal. Thank, Thank you, you and, and good, good night. night. I was just getting your uh, auction items ready. We just wrapped up night out. Oh, I probably should take this off. Hi, Cassie Sands, VP of Development at Moxa. Getting your auction items ready because thank you so much for shopping tonight, for making donations, for supporting Moxa and the survivors and kids and families that we serve. Uh, so these will be getting ready and we'll, my team and I will get these delivered out to you here really quickly. But until then, I just want to thank you. And uh, like Julie and Stephanie and Libby said earlier, you're all our superheroes. Thanks. A couple weeks ago, I was answering the crisis line and received a call from a young man who was translating for his mother, who speaks Spanish. They were interested in getting his six-year-old sister connected with a therapist. I asked if he and his mother were also interested in getting connected to therapy because we know sexual abuse impacts the whole family. He let me know that they'd applied for crime victims' compensation but weren't sure they were going to get it. Because of that, they didn't think they could afford therapy for all three of them and wanted to prioritize his sister. I let him know that Moxa services are offered at no cost, and he was so relieved. He let me know that yes, he and his mother are both interested in counseling. I was also happy to let him know that we have Spanish-speaking therapists, so translation would not be a concern. As a Moxa staff person, it's easy for me to take for granted that people know all of our services are offered at no cost to the community. But it's your support that makes that happen. Your support allows us to provide care to survivors and their families at no cost to them. Your support is what allows us to recruit and retain bilingual staff so we can provide Spanish-speaking services directly. Thank you for all you do to support survivors in our community. Hello, my name is Brandy Williams. I'm a coordinator in the advocacy department at MOXA. Uh, my job primarily um, entails supervising some of our advocates, but also providing some direct client service as well. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the other services that we have at Moxa that people might not be aware of. We have been fortunate enough to get some funding um, to kind of help assist our clients with some of those financial needs that may have affected them through COVID times um, on top of the sexual assault that they've experienced or someone in their family has experienced. And I recently was fortunate enough to work with a family, um, a mom and five of her kids, and they were in need of some groceries. So we were able to secure them some groceries, um, contact lists, you know, making sure everybody stays safe, ordered the groceries that she requested, um, and then she was able to pick those up, paid for. Um, we were also able to help her catch up on a utility bill. Um, so she was unable to pay one of the monthly installments of her bill due to COVID and some financial constraints. And so we were able to pay off that entire balance for her. And so she was just really appreciative of that. And it was something that we don't get to do all of the time, um, but I was lucky enough to be able to help make a family feel a little bit more settled in a time where all of us are trying to just find some type of normal. So um, I appreciate your time and thank you so much. And Hello, we're the Emmets. I'm John and my wife, Julianne. Hi. So Julianne and myself have six children and we've had foster children as well that we felt we were expert in the world of parenting. We, we felt we'd seen Not most anymore. every- Not <laughs> anymore. 
<laughs> no, we felt we'd seen everything and done everything. And when our youngest guy was four years old, we adopted him. And he had a lot of questions and trauma that we just, we didn't have the answers and didn't know where to find them. And that led us on a journey to Moxa. Moxa was really great. They helped us um, through group therapy. And then um, we went on to some individual uh, therapy sessions, which was really helpful. Uh, it helped our whole family actually um, to heal and know how to help our little guy. Um, but I will never forget one day going in to help him write a letter. He was trying to apologize to the person who had taken his innocence. And I can tell you from this mama heart that is so hard because you want to protect your children. But through that, he learned that it was not his fault and that he was safe and loved and cared for. And he's doing really well. Our family has healed a lot and we're so grateful to Moxa for that and for all the other children who have been helped because of this amazing program. We hope that you will continue to support families and children who need this healing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.